Hello and welcome to the garden. Today I wanted to speak a little bit about the red buttons fountain grass that we found just a few months ago um, over at Lowe's. And it came in a two gallon size pot. This is the information. I wanted to make sure I got the um, scientific name for it since there's so many different types of fountain grass. But that is the scientific name and we got it in a two gallon. Um, it's available in a smaller size and you may want to get the smaller size, uh, just depending on how fast you want it to grow. And I'll show you the back information also, but yes, we found this over at Lowe's and apparently didn't pay very much attention to that 48 inch wide um, information, um, or at least we thought, well, we have some time for that uh, because it came in this size pond. If you can see this hibiscus here, it came to a pot this size, about two gallons, and now it's that size. It's a little bigger, <laughs> and we got four of them. You can see that. This is the Red Buttons Fountain Grass. It doesn't really lose its coloring over the winter, we found. We've had it since October, and we have four of these. Now look at how large they are and the spikes that come out they come in sort of red at first and then they change to this tan like a beige color we'll call it but look how they filled out this area in just a few months and I would say just from the spring since it was sort of dormant over the winter but Again, look, this is the pot size that it came in, and it sort of was that wide. It didn't look that very big, uh, big, excuse me, <laughs> um, looked pretty innocent, and then voila, it became huge. They all did, and they're filling in that area very quickly, so we're thankful because we don't have to cut the grass there. So that's cool. Um, we paired it with... The, I spoke about it a few videos ago, the Red Garnet King from the Emerald Empire series of Crepe Myrtles, and look at that coloring on it. But please, check out this Crepe Myrtle. If you're able to get it from Jay Berry Nursery or um, anything like that, or anything that's sort of that color. That would be pretty cool to have that because it'll have red flowers and it'll very nicely complement the red button fountain grass that's in front of it. So look at that. Yeah, it's ginormous. It's huge. So yeah, I just wanted to point out if you're looking for a fountain grass to fill in an area quickly, <laughs> very quickly, um, this may be a good one and it's not windy right now so we're in between the rain but when the wind blows it's very gentle to see it swaying back and forth um, but that is the red button fountain grass and look at that in the middle here you see that crepe myrtle and just imagine that how pretty that's going to look move that bulbine's going to be moved but it overwintered there, so it's just gonna, that's bulbine. We're gonna move it to a new spot, but that's gonna be so pretty to have those flowers come out. It's pretty right now. You don't have to wait for the flowers. It's gorgeous right now with the beige of the fountain grass. Just very nice contrast. So there you have it. The red button fountain grass, and we found this over at Lowe's. So just check your area lows if you're interested and just see if they can order it. Perhaps if they don't have it there, if you look at this um, tag and just see if you can get some help finding it. It's, it's well worth it. We love it. Love them. <laughs> there are four of them. We can actually split these pretty soon. So gosh, it's amazing. It will perfectly cover our pumpkins when they start growing 
So there you have it, the red button fountain grass. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. See you in the next video.